The procedure starts by finding the correct level for the biopsy. The biopsies are taken from the upper iliac crest with access via the ventral spine. The midline of the spinous process is identified and the iliac crest is located by palpation. When the correct point is found, the puncture point is marked using a straw. This is to avoid losing the marking after washing. The area around the puncture point is washed with colored chlorhexidine. The procedure is carried out aseptically, but without sterile drapes. The area around the puncture point must remain sterile during the whole procedure. Correct placement of local anesthesia is important for how the patient experiences the procedure. 10 milliliters of xylocaine with 10 milligrams per milliliter of adrenaline is normally used. When the needle reaches the periosteum, the anesthesia is given time to work before the numbed area is expanded by angling the needle in four directions. To avoid unnecessary trauma to the skin from the aspiration needle, a small incision is made in the skin with a scalpel blade. Disposable and reusable aspiration needles are available. A reusable needle is used in this video. The needle is pushed toward the posterior iliac spine and rotated with careful pressure until it goes through the cortex. When the needle is in the spongy tissue, the trocar is removed and a 5 milliliter syringe is connected to the needle. 0.2 to 2 milliliters is quickly aspirated for a regular bone marrow smear. Three small and seven larger smears are placed on slides. The slides are tilted and the blood, which collects in the lower edge of the smear, is removed before it coagulates. We then use another slide to make a few regular smears and some which are squeezed. The smears are dried with a fan before fixation and staining. A new aspiration needle is used for aspiration for flow cytometry. 0.5 milliliters of monoparin is placed in the syringe in advance to stop the aspirate coagulating. 4 to 5 milliliters is aspirated with the syringe. The aspirate is quickly moved to a specimen glass. Finally, a punch biopsy is taken. A disposable needle is used. The needle is inserted in the same puncture wound and pushed toward the posterior crest. The needle is rotated with constant pressure until it penetrates the iliac crest. Care is taken to ensure that the needle does not slide into an area that is not anesthetized. The trocar is removed from the needle. The rotation of the needle is continued until it is penetrated deep enough into the bone marrow. The spoon is inserted into the needle. The biopsy needle is rotated without pressure in both directions to cut the biopsy loose. The needle with spoon and biopsy is pulled out. The spoon is carefully removed from the needle and the biopsy is put in fixation fluid using a blunt trocar. The incision is closed with strips and covered with an adhesive bandage.